<laughs> Give me one second. I'm good. Oh yeah, he's loving it. Put your leg down. Oh yeah, we're we're styling tonight. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. I mean, best. He's uh, it's like best in show. You like that movie? Roey's like the busiest person I know. He's like always doing something great. Oh, can't hear Shane. All right. We're having a few uh, audio issues tonight, buddy. Thanks for the heads up. We're having tons of audio issues. Uh, can you hear me now? Wow, you guys have I can. my amazing intro. Mm. That's too bad. I can't win them all. I can't win them all. Do you want to start over? No. No, I'm afraid that it won't work if we start over. Fair, fair. Why, why is it not working now? I don't know. Oh, this is going to bother me. No, hey, Bubs. This is going to be trouble. I think it's this. Do we change any of this? It's unclear. We changed all of it. I theoretic. Uh oh. Have I crashed the whole thing? Hello? Hi. Hello? Hello? Okay, whatever. I don't know. I broke it. We're gonna okay. I'm resetting things up after. All right. <laughs> it's not past your bedtime at 8 a.m. I can't believe you're up so early. Really? So yeah. early. Well, we were talking about cats is what we were talking about. And Doug Renton got his cat. Yeah. And I said, that's a big Rawr. mug you got there, Doug. Oh, it is a big mug. Hey, what, you, what, you got in that, what you got in that mug there? I got some chocolate chai tea. Ooh. Yeah. It is good. I should have made tea as well, but I didn't. It's all right. That is a okay. So um, I feel bad that uh, the sound's not so good. No, it sounds not good, and the hot mic and my mic's hot. Yeah. Oh, am I too loud? You were just there for a second, yeah. I just pushed it back a little. I can be a little easier. No, no, it's I, I got I turned you down. I just don't know why I don't have this uh, routing correctly. It's bothering me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Oh well, indeed. Hopefully, everybody can hear everybody, and the sound isn't too bad. And we'll. Uh... What are you working on there, Doug? What are you gonna be working on? Well, I had a little encounter the other day in nature and I wasn't sure quite what it was at first um, I didn't know if it was an otter or a muskrat or what it was but after a little bit of research I um, discovered it was a groundhog Ooh, so I yeah. um, think I'll paint a little groundhog today oh sweet yeah, yeah. that sounds good yeah. I like little how uh How's your day going? What's going on with you? I gotta tell you, it's been a it's been a rough couple of weeks, just with a lot of work to be done, and uh, I'm trying to grow some things, and they're not growing, and it's very annoying. Oh, any rationale to why it's not happening for you? I'm not sure. So I had a big problem with aphids. Uh, mm -hmm. on the pepper plants I tried to overwinter and it killed almost killed them all so they're almost all dead that's great 
starting fresh and I put some seeds in and some of them have come up but they look very unhealthy and I don't know what oh. their problem is but you can't like do much at that stage it's kind of like you just got to hope that you're giving them the right amount of water and light because mm -hmm. you can't feed them any fertilizer or they or they will die um so yeah soil pH and yeah who knows gotcha well, I applaud really your efforts. Yeah, thank you. I also got an indoor grow light, and I just don't know where to put it. I'd like to get... I'm going to try and grow a specific type of pepper, and I want to keep it away from all the other ones. Okay. What happens? Will it, like, overtake the other peppers? I just don't want it to get aphids and die, because it's very difficult to grow. So I want to keep it separate and gotcha. have it inside with a grow light where I can control the whole environment and then I can wait till it's big and healthy before I expose it to uh, anything. But I should have started it in February, you know? Oh, okay. So, You're a little late. I'm a lot late, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, uh, a little bit late, but that's, I mean, hey, you do what you do, do what you can. Oh my god, it's your life. Do what you want. No, that's right. Do what you want. So I told you I was watching that uh, Miss Davis show and I um, couldn't find out where when the new episodes came out. And oh, yes. They must yeah, have yeah. heard me because they changed it. And that now it says that they come out on Thursdays. So oh, I'm looking magical. forward to watching that after the after the show. Cool. What's uh? What is she up to these days? Oh man, the story is super complex. Complex. Mm -hmm. Super complex. Nice. Um, but they found this guy that was on an island, uh, trying to stay away from everything, and he's telling the story of the Holy Grail from his. Oh, is it like Indiana Jones and the Holy Grail kind of thing? Hmm. Or a little no. different. No, like we were talking about last time, it's kind. It's kind of like one of those fantastical. Oh yeah, yeah. Like there's like a like lot a going on, a lot of like dirt ins and outs, a weird, oh, yeah, weird, weird stuff. So she's a nun looking for the Holy Grail so that she can kill an artificial intelligence who killed her father. Oh, I thought she was the AI. No. Everybody has and uses the AI through their phones and earphones. So it sounds like it's today. <laughs> it does. Honestly, did you see the Google I.O. today? Uh, no, but I, heard, I saw an article on it, but I didn't look into it. Yeah, like it's, it's AI, 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 AI this, AI that, AI is in these products. And we're putting it in these products. Yeah. Yeah. Chatbots that sound like real people. Yeah. I mean, and that was years ago, right? That they yeah. did that? And I was going to say, that doesn't seem very new when I read that part. I was like, well, are you catering to my mother? Is that the statement? But, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, the world's going bonkers. Not just because of that. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's making things feel, I don't know. Out of control? Yeah. Out Not of that control. it was ever in control, but still. It just feels very difficult to try and keep up with everything. Is it because the weekend's not going to be the weekend anymore soon? What? Why? He's done with that character. He's going to stop that, and now he's going to shift more to acting. But he may release new music, but under a different name. Oh. Yeah. It's all grown up. The weekend's all grown up. Yeah. It'd be amazing so. if he releases it under the name Monday. <laughs> It'd be awesome. Or Sunday. I don't know. I guess it can't be Sunday. Hey, little Ange. How you doing? Nice hey, little Ange you. and your flappy hands. Flappy hands, Ange. <laughs> <laughs> now, every time I see the little emoji, I just I can't help but laugh. Uh, 
groundhog's been in fresh cut grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just like mowing through life. Okay, Rowie, take care of yourself. Have a great day. Have a great Learn day, how buddy. To save people. We'll yeah. See you next time, friend. Work that ass. Yeah, love to watch you walk away. What does it say? I love to see you coming. Love to watch you walk away. There's something like that. Hate to see you go, but I love to watch you go. Uh, wait, walk I hate away. To see you go, but I, I love to see you walk away. I don't know something like that. Something. It sounds like something you'd say. <laughs> <laughs> all feels it very is. accurate sure 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 uh, there's no good celebrity birthdays today I looked it up take a day off buddy yeah take, take a, day, a off. day off Like, forget it fine fine you don't want to have any good birthdays that's fine don't. I'll do amazing animal facts instead let's do that Uh, okay. This is this is uh, uh, gonna blow your mind. Oh, okay. A rhinoceros's horn. Okay. What do you think it's made from? Snot. Snot. Mm. It's made from compacted hair. Wow. I okay. know. They don't even really have hair, so I don't really know how that works. Interesting. I was just going out on a wild limb. You said it's going to blow my mind, so I was like, all right, what would blow my mind? Yeah. It's why their horns are so valuable. Because of all that hair? It doesn't look like hair. You know? I would have to agree. It looks more like a horn. Uh, the source is the animal planet. Well, if anyone should know, it would be them, wouldn't it? You'd figure. But like, I don't, it looks like wood. I guess wood's fiber. True. All right, well, I'm gonna stop watching this video about rhino horns. Okay, you might find some watch lists if you keep going. Uh, a chameleon, you know the chameleon? I know of them, yeah. Yeah. Its tongue is as long as its body. Impressive. Powerful as well. Hey, Bia. No, it is a groundhog. You can call him a lion if you like. Yeah, let's see what I can. You want some uh, amazing groundhog facts? Yeah. Marmota monax ones. is its scientific name. Live uh, three to six years in the wild. Oh, okay. 20 inches long with a six or seven inch long tail. About 12, yeah. six to 12 pounds. Okay, yeah. Favorite foods? You ready for this? Yeah. Apples. Loves apples. Groundhog. It's funny because I saw this guy down by the ocean. Oh. He was probably having clover or dandelions, his other favorite foods. Perhaps. Bark, garden vegetables. It was, because that's why I thought it was an otter, because I was like, you're so close to the ocean. But he was very cute, but I thought he might attack me, so I wasn't sure. They're the largest squirrel. Oh. Groundhogs cool. are the largest species in the squirrel family. Okay, here's some here's some great other names for them. Okay, you ready? Okay, I'm re yes. Woodchuck, which we know. That's yep. easy. Whistle pigs. <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard them called that? No. No, Whistle I haven't. Whistle pigs. Okay. 
And then this one's fantastic. Land beavers. Yeah, that's a good one. Which, which begs the question, aren't beavers land beavers? Well, that's a great question. Yeah, I would have to say. Beavers can do the both, uh, both things. Yeah, they can do a lot. They're good like that. Uh, groundhogs are archaeologists. Groundhog burrows are known to have been responsible for uncovering a historic village in central Ohio, hmm? which is now a famous archaeological site. Cool. Groundhog burrows are so complex that each has its own bathroom. Each burrow? Yeah, each burrow has its own bathroom. Cool. It also likes flowers and bark and clover. I think you mentioned clover once. I'll mention it again. Alfalfa, yeah. clover. Alfalfa? Beans. Nice. Beans, lettuce, broccoli, soybeans. Nice. They also devour seedlings before they even have time to grow, which is probably might be the culprit for last year's uh, pepper plant debacle. Oh, do you feel like, you have these creatures? Well, I got something that eats... It could be rabbits, too. Rabbits do the same thing, where they'll eat a uh, a new plant before it can even get to be whatever whatever it's going to be. So I put, oh. like, mm, 12 pepper plants in the garden, like, in the ground in yeah. the garden. And they were all eaten down to the nub. Oh, the nub. And so now I keep them in uh, pots in on the... On the deck. Nice, yeah, like pepper I pots. Put them in the ground. Yeah. Oh man, I got a big problem. Okay. I have an old old hot tub. Yes. It's broken. Yeah. And inside it now. It's not animals. in the tub part, but in the in the like where all the electronics and all the tubing is. Yeah. Uh, lives a hefty raccoon. Oh, do you name her Hefty? I don't know. We I saw her walking home the other night. It is a it's got a big booty. The thing is, <laughs> the thing is eating well around here. So huh. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I gotta get I gotta get rid of that thing. Yeah, I was gonna say what it are you gonna do? Well, I don't know, but it can't live there because I. I you know the it's right by the gate to go down to the lake and like i don't want people being over and you know it decides to bite people so right. i don't know i'm thinking a live trap and then driving it into the woods and letting it go oh um you're gonna put it in your car <laughs> well in a cage yeah yeah the other option would be to um you know yeah Do some other things. Yeah. Snakes can see with their eyes closed. I'm sorry, what? Raccoons can see with their eyes closed? Uh, snakes. Oh, what? Fuck off. Don't tell me things. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll make it better. A group of flamingos is called a flamboyance. That's fun. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's other names for a group of flamingos too, but that one's a good one. Uh, the male pigeon can produce milk. For who? It's babies. Oh. That's... Or you, if you want. If you're into Ooh. pigeon milk. Yay! <laughs> the newest Why? milk, pigeon milk. You don't need soy? Yeah. Hey, uh, listen. Uh, yeah, what would I like? I would love a... a Double cappuccino pigeon milk. <laughs> oh, uh, a venti blonde with some pigeon milk. Half calf decaf, a little yeah. foam made from pigeon milk, if you would. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so gross. Yeah. I think that's what you need. We'll call uh, the name got... of that uh, that uh, coffee shop the Coop. Oh yeah, welcome to the Coop. <laughs> You can have ostrich milk. You can have pigeon milk. Oh my 
Male pigeon milk. Oh my god, the things you can have here. So gross. <laughs> yeah. Ali. Uh, you thought that the uh, groundhog you saw could have been an otter, and the sea at first otter... glance, because he kind of he surprised me, and I was oh. just like, "Ooh!" I think we surprised each other, if I'm being honest. Um, but uh, yeah, I didn't really know what he was and what his intentions were, you know. Right. But he just wanted to get going. He just he was just on his way, and I was just happened to be on the trail, and it's like, oh, you're here, and like, oh, you're here, and uh, what are we gonna do about this? And then just kind of checked each other out a little bit, and then I just kind of get out of his way, but wanted to watch what he was up to, and then he went on his way. Well, that's good. At least you guys have a fight. Gosh, no, I would have lost. Uh, they're called Mermel. Is marble mer mermeliter millimeter? Okay, cool. Uh, it probably comes from the scientific name Marmota mon monarchs, but I don't know. Oh. I'm no you German linguist. That's true. You've tried though. I like the marble idea that they play marbles. Yeah. <laughs> I also think that that's a cute uh, visual. Yeah. Uh, just one more fact about sea otters. They have the densest fur out of any mammal. The densest fur. Fair. Yeah, that's always wet. Always. I wonder if it would make a nice coat. It doesn't, you never hear about it though, do you? Is no, because they don't do that, that an anymore. Otter coat? Like, no, it's not an otter coat. Ferrets, though. They used to do ferret coats, right? And isn't that just a land otter? Maybe. Same thing with the uh, land beaver. It's like, well, otters can also go on land. It's true. I have one down at the cottage. Gorilla nose prints are as unique as human fingerprints. I also would wage a guess that gorilla fingerprints are as unique as human fingerprints. Mm -hmm. I too would guess that. You know where the coat is best on animals? So we're going to put a otter's coat on a dog. Dog's going to be too hot, I would guess. Daisies. Rocks her rocks. Rocks her rocks. Rocks her rocks. I have to look this up. What's a rocks her rocks? Oh my goodness. This thing is so cute. I actually think you have a soft spot for uh, vermin. Just, okay, but look at this guy's toes, Doug. Well, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just calling it out he's kind of cute and menacing at the uh, <laughs> he looks like nathan lane <laughs> he does but look at his little toes <laughs> yeah they're cute look at his little tootsies <laughs> very, very cute, cute. It does look like Nathan Lane. Yeah. Oh, are you guys seeing all of this or no? Well, that's all you get. That little guy in the corner there. Yeah, they are cool. cool, cool. Oh, man. Having trouble speaking today. The Australian version. Quokka. Yeah, quokka you love the quokkas. Who doesn't love the quokkas? They have the square poos. 
Yeah, this thing is is absolutely the. Imagine this guy with those Tootsie. You know? Let me pull it up. Yeah, it's just the best. Cutie is. Yeah, and polite. Oh, square square poops is wombats. Are they not from the wombat family? I don't know. You have the internet. I don't. Whatever, man. Clock has square poops. Yeah. If you want them to have square poops, they do. I do, and in my world, they do. Yeah. Well, welcome to Shameland. Where Kawakas have square poops. Yeah. Yep. Square poop. Squishmallow. Oh. Science alert. Wombats are the oh. only animals with that pube cubes. Poop cubes. <laughs> oh, okay. Poop cubes. <laughs> How is it they do that? Uh, it has something to do with the uh, poop shoot itself. Oh, I see. It makes sense. Okay. I, I'm looking... Okay, this is how far down this rabbit hole I've gone already. I'm looking at uh, pictures of Kuwaka poops. And mm -hmm. they're not not square. <laughs> right? It's not a cube exactly. But it's not round. Mm -hmm. no. I'm hearing you. It's funny. When you, when you search for Kuwaka poop, you just get a bunch of wombat poop. Uh, really? People are yeah. pretty into it. Oh, that looks like regular poop, though. <laughs> okay. I think I'm done. I think I'm done looking at these pictures. Hey, bubs. Huh? Wow. <laughs> Want to come oh. say hi to everyone? I think they're all the same family, right, Bia? Like, all those things are together. Whew! I think I squeezed Stan too hard. Holy shit! Oh, he, oh he, my he god, he farted. Him? Oh, why do you stink? Food ghost. <sighs> god, you're the worst. Oh, you just love that you can fart on me and... Just love on me after her. I see. The daisy's closest relative is uh, the elephant. All right, let's fact check this. O only out of curiosity, not because I don't believe you. Also called daisy's cape hyrox, rock rabbit, uh, coney. Is a medium-sized terrestrial mammal native to Africa and the Middle East, commonly referred to as the daisy in South Africa. Yep, it is one of the five living species of Hyracoidea, and the only one in the genus Prosavia. They weigh four to five kilograms. They like the high mountains. 13,000 feet above sea level. Rock crevices. It, the species is the most closely related to the elephant. I've heard that a few times already. Along with other hyrax species and the 
Sirenians, which are uh, the sea cow. Oh, yeah. This species is the most closely related to the elephant, an unrelated, convergently evolved mammal of similar habits and appearance is the uh, rock cavy of Brazil. Oh, my God. These things are kind of cute, too. Look at those little tootsies. I love their toes. You're, like, right into feet tonight. Oh, just these guys' feet. I don't like regular feet. <laughs> <laughs> the smelly cat. Oh, yeah, the smelly cat indeed. They just get dropped off via. Hel helicopter me up to the highlands. I love it. Um, how was your lobster dinner? It looked pretty good on Instagram. Oh, man. Really good. Um, well worth the drive. How far did you know. go? I didn't go very far. <laughs> 20 minutes <laughs> up, the, up the coast. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? Oh, it's 20, 20 minutes up the coast, but I left with plenty of time, so I did a little bit of walking and did a couple of trails, and it's good because there's lots of lots of stuff down that way, Three Fathom Harbor way. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, no, it was really good. We cooked up uh, 14 lobster. Okay, yeah, nice. They look like a fire mat. Uh, yeah, it was really good. I love, I love lobster. I, I like, I like the whole process of it. Yeah. And it's like, it's so delicious and rich. Mm-hmm. Like you. Just like you. Yeah, no comment after that statement? Wow. Well, I was just trying to think, like, am I rich? And the answer is... You're richer than uh, most people on the planet. Yeah. I'm very lucky. You can afford 14 lobster. Uh, well, the other people chipped in, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I wasn't there. Yeah, it was, it was really good. Um, I, I like to get at least one lobster feed in a season. Right. How long is the season on for? Up that way. I think it goes till September. Oh, okay. So, a little while yet. Uh, do you like lobster? I know that you've had a lot. <laughs> um, I do, but I don't really get excited for it. Um, I like doing it for other people. Um, like, I'll, I'll happily cook it and shuck it for them. But, um, yeah, I don't, a couple bites and I'm fine. It's just, yeah, not a big deal for for me, I guess. I'd rather have lamb or duck. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I think I... Mm, that's a tough one. That's a tough question. Um, yeah, all three. I think all three is my answer. <laughs> yeah. I'll... Uh, oh, what would that be? A lamb... Duck lobster. I don't know. Lambster. Lamb stuck. <laughs> Try to do a traducan with all those things, but I'm, I'm struggling. <laughs> It would be a uh, lamb uxter. That's it. That's yeah. Let's have that. Oh man, that would be very decadent. That's accurate and wonderful at the same time. A dumpster. Only the bee is from. The oh, lamb. And yes, lobster post had you jealous. Well. You know, there's plenty of uh, plenty of lobster season left, and this, so this is the first time I got that hookup, which was to, I had to go down to the uh, dock where the boat goes. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Shane. You're welcome <laughs> for me explaining where the boats go. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, it was the first time I I, I met that that uh, person and. They said, yeah, text me anytime. Just give me a couple of days and we can get you what you need. I'm like, okay, cool. 
that's fantastic. And the price was fair. It was be better than uh, better than not going to the dock to get it. That's for sure. Right. Yeah. And so fresh, like. So at the dock, they had this really cool system where they were pumping seawater into a tank and then just letting that tank overflow. Yep. And then it would drop down. And it was in, inside a shack, but the shack had just, like, wood slats for floors. Mm hmm And they had this humongous tank full of lobster in there. And then the, so the it was always fresh uh, seawater coming in. And... Yeah, they were super lively. They looked beautiful. There was no, no like uh, crustaceans on them, like barnacles or anything. Oh yeah, and they seemed quite. Um, they were lively. lively. They were packed, yeah. man. You know yeah. how sometimes you crack them open and there's nothing in there. They they just molted. These were mm -hmm. ready to go. Cool. Bursting. Yeah, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Dumpster. Ah, that works. Yep. There are one quadrillion ants on Earth, apparently. It's a lot. You know what I'm liking about tonight? I'm palette knifing. I haven't done it in a while. Oh, yeah. You did that last week, too. Yeah. Feels like a while, though. <laughs> before, before that, it had been a while. It has, yeah. Yeah. Who counted the ants? I think they guesstimated, right? Like they said, oh, there's 12 here, and <laughs> the area is the size of a quarter. So if we extrapolate, <laughs> they tried to science it, you know? Right. There's also a, do uh, let's see what the dog population is. Dog population, 900 million dogs. A lot. Free range dogs make up 75 to 85 percent of the world's dog population. Wow, that's a lot. Mm hmm. It's a lot of doggos. Okay. Most popular animals. What do we think they are? In what regard? Like as pets or just like people just like them? Yeah. Um, I'd say tops are cats and dogs. I'd say yep. tigers dogs are tops. Uh, tigers are up there. I think a lot of big cats are up there. People like those. Um... I'm gonna say some birds. People like birds. Um, maybe some cockatiels or something. Um, I don't know. Anyone in chat have some ideas? Fish. People like fish. Yeah. So. Um, trying to find a reputable source for this, but. It, there, a lot of lists out there and a lot of the lists are uh, obvious dogs number one cats number two oh, okay, yeah. fish birds reptiles I was kind of looking for something a little bit more interesting yeah, okay, here we go. This is better. This is better. 25 most popular animals on Google search. So. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say it's, snakes, unfortunately. So we'll just start at the bottom here. Bison are number 25. Cool. Though it was 129th most searched animal in 2014, the bison made the list of the top 10 trending animals for the year. This is in 2022, by the way. 
largely due to commercial raising of bison for their meat and bison meat appearing on menus. Okay. Number 24, dolphins. Oh, yeah. Uh, the eagle. Oh, yeah. A small horse, or some might call it a pony. No, no, there's actually small horses, though. There is actually small horses. Uh, mm hmm but a pony is a smaller horse. It is not a baby horse or a young horse. It is just. Oh, I thought it was its own thing. It is its, like own, its own breed. Oh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but we're saying the same thing. Okay, sounds different. Apes. You say it. Apes number twenty-one. Yeah, lobster number twenty. Wow. At the far end of the twenty most popular animals searched on Google, the lobster can live up to seventy years old. Unlike us humans, lobsters don't slow down or become weaker with age shots over the bow here they likely even become more fertile as they grow older wow the monkey the cow the deer the duck oh monkeys people like monkeys yeah yeah they do rabbits spiders the gray wolf number 13 number 12 the turkey hmm. a common sight on american and canadian thanksgiving tables the turkey Fair. bird was actually named after the country. Really? Yep. Well, according to this site, anyway. Lion, pigs, snakes, sharks, bird. Oh, yeah. Just, just plain bird. Not birds, but bird. Bear, fish, chicken, horse, cat, and dog. Okay, well... Jeez, humans are n nothing if not predictable. Are you just um, using your own Google search? <laughs> this results. <laughs> this is typical. Number five for me was fish. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't specify what type of fish. I just put fish. <laughs> well, that list sucked. Yeah, it was weak. Weak. Okay, here's Time Magazine's list of 100 most influential animals <laughs> like famous ones i guess hold on i'm gonna find out yeah looks like it cool uh tilcom is number two number one is, is cecil the lion do you remember cecil the lion i no. who's cecil was he like part of uh hans and franz or um uh, Cecil, no, it was a it was a lion in a reserve park that a Minnesota dentist paid uh, a bunch of money to kill. Oh, why? Because uh, big game hunters that pay to get to kill an animal that is not doing any like it was just lying there doing nothing. <laughs> they anyway. So a minister went and killed us. Uh, dentist, and oh, okay. well, still not any better. But uh, I, was like, I hope anyway. that minister goes to hell. But I guess it doesn't matter. He wasn't a minister. Yeah. So, a Minnesota dentist killed an African lion so beloved he not only had a name but a really good name. So. Whoever wrote this for a Time magazine thought that Cecil was a great name for this lion. I'd say it is, um, After the public shaming of the dentist, which included Jimmy Kimmel crying on air, it became clear that big game hunting was no longer socially acceptable. Within a few months, U.S. Uh, Fish and Wildlife Services added two subspecies of lions to the endangered list, making hunting of them not okay for U.S. citizens. France banned importation dead lion trophies, and more than 40 airlines will not transport them. Plus, Jimmy Kimmel cried. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tilcom, the, you know, SeaWorld orca. Mm -hmm. number, number three is Uncle Sam, the eagle that, uh, that uh, grabbed Trump's hand. <laughs> I don't think I know this. Donald Trump wanted to have an eagle in the room when he signed something. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, it was for oh. a photo shoot. And then the eagle, like, grabbed his hand with his talons. Oh, nice. Are you doing a good number on it? No. Uh, Unfortunately, no. Uh, number six is Pizza Rat. Do you remember Pizza Rat? I don't. Okay, so... What year was that? Um... It was this uh, cell phone, this poor cell phone video of a, a New York City rat taking a whole, like carrying a whole piece of pizza. Oh, I think I kind of do remember that now. Yeah, yeah, pizza rat. Uh, that's good. I don't know any of these. Other. The freeway llamas. In an O.J. Simpson-style chase of one black and one white llama that was covered live for 20 minutes on local Arizona television as cops chased the two by car and then by foot, eventually lassoing both. The llama <laughs> what was the day the uh, day of the dress, says BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed, yeah, okay, BuzzFeed, whatever. Uh, yes, we got Oh, Grumpy Cat. Yep. Yeah. Poor old. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everyone knows Grumpy Cat. Yeah, pretty good. Bebe. Who's Bebe? You know Bebe? Is that a pig? Born in August in the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. Bebe is one of those thin dip diplomatic lines of connection between U.S. and China. It was one of the first uh, baby pandas born in captivity. Oh, okay. Oh no, selfie dolphin. That's not good. <laughs> oh, oh uh, are you watching anything new? Yeah, so I started Dollface. Dollface. Oh yeah. Which, you know, one would think that the that doesn't doesn't uh, wouldn't be up my alley, you know. Let me uh, give well, you a little run. Is it about a? Uh, it sounds scary. No, it's uh, after being dumped by her longtime boyfriend. Jules must deal with her own imagination to literally and metaphorically re-enter the world of women and rekindle the female friendships she left behind. Yeah. It's got Cat Dennings in it. Is she the from one? Two Broke Girls? Yes, which was a yeah. horrible show. Yeah, but I liked her. I like her, I should say. I didn't watch that show. I like her. You know what she reminds me of? You know how I sort of think about her? Is that she is the poor man. Zoe man's... Knockoffs? Yes. Zoe Deschanel? She's the poor man Zoe Deschanel. Yeah. But she's good, and she's good in this. Like, she's... Uh, very what's the word endearing uh huh yeah like you want to like her oh okay but it's hard to like her I take it no it's easy to like her she's pretty oh, okay. likable in this yeah uh, anyway I watched most of the first season so far I heard that the second season is not good that it gets really not good oh okay so, you're gonna give it a go, uh, what about though. you? You watching anything new? No. Um, I watched the last episode of My Yellow Jackets and I didn't like it. Um, I thought it was boring. I mean, yes, I'm glad they're moving the story along, but like, I don't know. I just want more peel back more layers. I think I'm just pissed off they skipped a week. Yeah, but I, I agree with you that they skipped a week and then they followed it up with a subpar episode. Yeah. So if you're going to skip a week, there better be a banger at the end of that, right? You want to bang the shit right out of it, yeah. Yeah, it better be good. Yeah, but and it wasn't. It was not, you're right. So, um... Damn boring. No, but I went to see Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and that was really good. Oh, okay. In the movie That's... theater. Yeah. 
I like going to the movie theater. Hey, uh, especially for something like that, right? Hmm. Agreed. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, was it better than two? Yeah, they say it's the best Marvel movie ever. And do you agree? Um, it was really good. Like, the action scenes were good. They're saying it's the most, like, animal rights movie made in, like, a long, long time. Um, yeah, I mean, like, there was one battle scene where I was just like, oh, that was all probably CG, but it was phenomenal. Um, it was so good. And, um, and it's like one, I, like, I like Gamora and I really like the actress, mm -hmm. also Zoe. Um, but like her thing is like, she's like the most powerful woman warrior in the universe. And it's like, you never see her fight. It's like, you always see someone else like kicking ass. So I was like, she better bring it to this. And um, she showed up. It, it wasn't what I, I mean, I, I thought I expected a little more. But, so she's supposed to be more badass than Captain Marvel? Well, she doesn't have powers. She's just the best oh, fighter. I see. Um, so oh, she's just man. like, she's Starly. supposed to be like the most ruthless yeah, like way, way more barbaric than Scarlett Johansson, but I would say Scarlett Johansson always was more badass. Hmm. Uh, was it funny? Because uh, they're making it, it out to be really, really funny. Yeah, it was quite funny. Um, Drax is always really funny and uh, Mantis and yeah, no, it was good. Worth seeing in the theater, do you think? Oh, I would say, yeah, yeah, definitely. Has anybody else seen it? Anybody in chat seen the movie yet? Thoughts? Anybody have any thoughts? But yeah, that and uh, the Miss, Mrs. Davis is the only only other new thing that I've been watching and waiting for the next episode. Yeah. And I, I want to, I haven't started it yet, but I do want to rewatch uh, Ted Lasso and uh, the new season. I haven't okay. watched any of that yet. I but I don't have I've Apple. Seen a few episodes. What's that? I've I've seen a few episodes, but I never really got into it. Oh, it's really good. It's heartwarming, you know. Yeah, I don't have um, Apple TV, so it. Uh, yeah, it makes it difficult. Makes it challenging. Yeah. There's a couple like I don't know if I'm, I don't know if it's at the point yet where, um, it's worth getting Apple TV, but it's getting close. Oh, okay, there's some other shows on there you want to see. Yeah, there's they have a lot of like original, like a, as they do now, right? Yeah, as everybody does now, a lot of original shows, and I, th I think a, there's some of them that have been really, uh, really well, well received. received. So, yeah. and I see Paramount's really making a push now to get into that. Um, Holy smokes! Genre. Ever. Well, they're really pushing Paramount Plus lately. There's a lot yeah. of ads. And they've been doing some, uh, putting some money into some productions. I, yeah. I, I don't know if there's anything that's like stuck out to me that, that has made me go, oh, I wish I could watch that. Agreed. I just saw one like with Tim Roth and some other people doing mean things. And I was just like, meh. It's so hard to get behind so many new streaming services. It's like, you could, really, there's going to another... Uh, and how much? Oh, 26? No. Yeah. 
Yep. You got a Pontiac. I got it. I got it. I dare to flare. Woo! So there's this movie called The Lobster. You know this movie? I've heard of it, I think. So it's a weird movie, but one of the things is that if you're still single at, I think it's 30 or 35, you uh, get turned into an animal of your choice sent out into the world to live as that animal oh interesting okay and if that were the case and you had to pick an animal to go live the rest of your life as what animal would you pick oh gosh uh... this uh, question is also open to chat which animal would you pick if you had to go turn into an animal for the rest of your life Can't pick human. You guys look I... like you and the uh, groundhog. <laughs> I should put a kerchief on him. <laughs> um. I don't know. You? Oh, it's such a hard question, right? Like, you got to live. I, I don't know if I want to live long. Maybe I don't. I, um, I, my instinct, my initial instinct is a seagull. Oh, yeah. And then I'm like, well, maybe that's not the best bird to be, but I would like a soaring bird, I think. Oh, you'd like to fly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the fly. Or or maybe a killer whale or ooh. Uh, something that that can swim really well. Gotcha. Maybe a leopard seal. Oh, they're just mean. You like you're picking all the mean animals. What? Killer whales and leopard nice seals bird? are mean, mean creatures. Oh no, 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 no! Killer whales are just smart. No, nope, they're they're mean. not mean. They're just misunderstood. <laughs> Have you seen them throwing seals in the air? Two, yeah, three they're stories. just misunderstood. You know? Yeah. Mm. But don't let one or two bad uh, killer whales yeah. spoil the bunch. Spoil yeah. Okay. So, uh, who do you think is going to win the hockey game tonight between Carolina and New Jersey? That's a tough, tough call there. You'd be a, a tardigrade because any other animals influenced by humankind being an asshole. Tardigrades are immortal. Yeah, it's pretty good. How much brain power is there, though? It's like being a starfish. I mean, I think yeah. you're limited to the brain capacity of the animal, right? Maybe I'd just be a jellyfish. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see where the ocean takes me. Little ant is going to go with elephant. Elephant or dog. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to go one of those giant jellyfish. That's what wow. I'll do. Yeah. Ooh, a giant squid would be cool. Mm-hmm. I'd like to come back as Grumpy Cat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could see that for you. Uh, the hockey game, eh? Yeah, I think um, Carolina, I mean, would be the money, I guess. Yeah. Although, last game, New Jersey brought it, but they haven't looked great. Yeah, I, I would agree. I think it's over tonight. Carolina just looks good. Yeah, they look good. So, I think them. 
Uh, Edmonton game. Did you see that slash? Holy smokes. I didn't know. Did you watch the Leafs game the other night or no? I did, yeah. I was texting you. Man, some of those... I can't believe some of those things weren't penalties. Yeah, it was weird. That Gudis charge yeah. from out past the blue line, he hit... It was both charging and boarding, and it was way after the whistle. Yeah. I was... I was losing my mind. I was... They could. He my voice got six or seven octaves higher, and I was arguing with the TV, which wasn't even talking back. No, I I believe that for you. That's how upset I was at that moment. Yeah, I was glad I was here, not there. I thought about coming out and visit you, but then I was like, nah, I don't want to impose. Uh, come out, come out on Friday, watch the game. I'm off. I'm away. Heading to uh, New Brunswick. Ah, Nouveau Brunswick. What are mm -hmm. you doing in the Nouveau Brunswick? Ah, I'm just going to visit for Mother's Day. Oh, that's nice. You're such a good son. Eh, I'm all right. And we'll say hi to your mama for me. And Will happy do. Mother's Day. Yeah. You got big weekend plans? Uh, I'm going to watch a hockey game Friday. And yeah. I'm going to, I want to go to, there's a point, oh, what was it called? There's a, a little 4K loop <clears throat> fairly close to here that I want to go check out. Sounds like you're doing lots of hiking. I'm just trying to get out more. And yeah. um, I don't do well after, but I'm trying to force myself out there. Cool. What's it called? It's called. It is called. It's pretty close to. I passed it on the way to the lobster thing. Half Island Point. Oh, cool. That's where I want more to go. But the biggest problem I have with this stuff is like I don't know where to park. Yeah. The only parking spot is like another 2K and I can't do 6K. Is it a busy area? I don't think so. I just, there's no parking. It's all wildernessy. Well, then just park wherever. Mm, maybe. Like, can you do that? Can you just park wherever? No. I think so. How do we feel about this guy? I like him. He's got a little bit of a mean attitude. Oh, do you want him to be a little happier? No, I'm just saying. I'm just oh. making an observation. I don't want him to be anything that he's not. Well, it's just kind of how he looked at me. He's like, ah, who are you? What do you do? <laughs> Giga! <laughs> it's like, oh, it's okay, buddy. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad he's resonating. He's a sassy one. Yeah, you know what you do with sass. Go on. Oh, I don't know if you're allowed to say it, but you know what to do with it. Yeah, everybody does. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one of you. Uh, but yeah, that's my plan on Sunday. I'm going to go do that. That's the plan anyway. We'll see if I actually make it. But uh, I'd like to. Uh, well, is it going to be nice? That's the other question. I think it's supposed to be, yeah. It's starting to get nice and like we've got this brief window before all the bugs come out and, and destroy They're starting everything. to hit, though. They're starting to hit. They are, man. It's close. Like, I think black flies next week. Then for two weeks, you can't go outside. Uh, and then it's fine after that. You just yeah. some mosquitoes after that. But that black fly season, you can't, you can't go out. You can't go outside. It's not, 
It's not wise. It's not wise. You just can't do it. What do we want to work on now? I don't know. What? How are you feeling? What are you feeling? Oh, the mosquitoes are already starting. Oh, no. What are the bugs yeah. like where you are, Bia? Do you guys have a lot of mosquitoes? Do you guys have black flies? Is that just a here thing? Man, they're annoying. Yeah, I don't know. They're here when it's like prime work in your yard weather. It's like, oh, I got to get these... Uh, Plants in the ground, got to get the blah, 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 blah. And it's like, oh, you can't go outside. Good luck. You see some people wearing those uh, hats mm -hmm. with the net on them. And you're like, oh, that seems like a good idea. And it's right. Not. And then you're like, oh, it's not. It's just not. It does it. It's like, it's like uh, the goggles, they do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try something. Is it okay if I try okay. something? Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. What the heck? What? Uh, okay. Do you know of Lower East Chesapeake Beach? Uh, maybe. So it's a beach on the ocean. Yeah. And right behind it is a humongous lake. Oh. Oh, yeah. You always see it from the airplane when you're landing, when you're coming in from Ontario. Oh, man. It looks super cool. Yeah. I've never been, but uh, I have seen it from the air. I wonder. And there's a boat launch on the lake. Oh, okay. Oh, no. That's somebody's house. Never mind. It looks like a pool. East Chesapeake Road. Hmm. I might go check this out. Yeah. I'm glad you're getting out more. I wonder it's if it's actually a lake or if it's a swamp. Ah, hard to say. Hard to know, Doug. It's hard to know. Don't know where you go. Uh, what are you trying? You said you want to try something. Are we just going to wait and see? Yeah, you're just going to wait and see. I'm going to use anticipation as a weapon. Not a lot of mosquitoes. That's good. You're six hours away from a coast. So it's not raining much. It's too dry for them. Oh, that's good. Yeah, not a, not a fan of mosquitoes. Only the ladies bite, by the way. Oh, interesting. Another fun animal fact. Lobster must be popular for Mother's Day around here, right? I would wonder, yeah. A lot of lobster rolls for mom. Yeah. Your body didn't react too well to the Canadian mosquitoes? No. <laughs> also, probably the pure number of them. You must have uh, mosquitoes in South Africa, right? 
fighting flies of some sort. They're so itchy. That's the thing that bothers me the most about mosquito bites is they're just, you can't stop. And they always get you in the ankles. Mm -hmm. They always get me in the ankles anyway. Are you uh, uh, one of those people, Doug, that gets bitten or does not get bitten? Do not they ignore too, you? Or I mean, a little you? bit, but um, they usually go after others who are around me. Yeah, so you're lucky. Apparently it's blood type. Oh, well, there you go. I must have one they don't love. Let me check that because, I mean, it could be a, what, what are they called? Um, urban myth. Yeah, like Keith Urban. Mm-hmm, one of his myths. This yes. Is... <laughs> Yeah, I don't need to know the whole thing. Oh, they also feed on nectar, aphid, honeydew, and plant juices. Oh. They diversify. Mouth parts. No, thank you. Skip that. Are mosquitoes attracted to certain blood types? The available research indicates that mosquitoes may prefer individuals with blood type O. Scientists have been investigating various factors attracted to mosquitoes. One of those factors is blood type. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Blood type O. Secrete H antigen, a precursor to A and B antigen. So, generally speaking, mosquitoes appear to be more attracted to people with blood type O than other blood types. What else attracts mosquitoes? Carbon dioxide, body odor, heat, color, alcohol. Pregnancy. What repels mosquitoes? The bottom line. So no real scientific match other than blood type O. Although I'll retract it. National Institute of Health says there's a retracted article that said that m female mosquitoes had a strong preference towards the blood type B. Type A apparently tastes the worst to mosquitoes. Oh. 50% less likely to bite. But this is on a not reputable thing. So nobody knows. Fair. I'll be right back. I need some paper towel. Paper towel. That's hilarious. I like where this is going, Doug. a bunch of these uh, beaches with lakes on the other side. Mm hmm Up the coast. There's a ton of them. Have you ever been to Clam Harbor, Doug? I have, yeah. They have um, sand sculpture competitions there in the summer. Oh, that'd be cool. 
Yeah. What's your favorite Nova Scotia beach? Crescent. Crystal Crescent? No, Crescent. I'll take you there. That's one of the few beaches you can actually drive on. It's down by the cottage. So sure. Yeah. By the Lahave Islands? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see it right here. Crescent Beach. Crescent Beach Road, even. Mm -hmm. George Island. Oh, wow. Look at the islands it goes out to. That's cool. That's where I boat in the summer. Those, uh, oh, out he way out here. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Do you go to Middle Island? Can you go out that far? I go to the very end island. Holy shit, this looks cool. Art mm, is okay. This got like a cove with a beach, and behind it is a lake, and then up in the the hills, it looks like there's, I don't know if it's a house or like a shack or something. Yeah, there's a lot of oh. people that live out that way. Halibut Bay. Halibut Bay. That's near the city. Do you go to Cape Cape Bay Beach? This looks freaking real. Yeah, nice. I've been there, but I have to. You have to go in through the other side. Um, it's too treacherous to go out in a boat my size. Oh, I see. Yeah, you got to go in and then hike over. Yeah. Yeah, we did that last summer. Oh, cool. Purgatory ponds. Mm hmm. Well, you just come out the, come out the river, right? Eh? Yeah. Yep. You ever been to P Petite Riviere Vineyards? Yep. Is it any good? No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the answer before I asked the question. <laughs> Have you been? Is that why you know? No, no, no. I heard from somebody else. Uh, where are you? Are you are you on that river? That same river. I'm on the Lahave River, yeah. Oh, you're on the big river, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. I was looking up the little river. No, can't really boat up there too much. This is so super. I know this is probably boring for everybody. I'm just looking at Google Maps, and but it's uh, it's not boring to me. But again, I know it and live it, so I get it. That's really nice out here. Yeah, it's awesome. I'll get down. This You'll summer. have to come visit. Yeah, I'll come to the cottage this summer. Yep. Anybody have vacation summer plans? Does anybody do anything special in the summer? Dashend. Is that a dashend or something else? It looks kind of different. I'm kind of making it up as I go. Mm -hmm, we'll mm -hmm. say he's Mati. A Versthund. A sausage, a sausage dog. Um, are you putting the boat in again this year, Doug? Yeah, I think at the end of the month. I guess that's not far off in a couple of weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks indeed. All right, I'm not upset with how this turned out. I think it looks. I think it looks really great. His face is so cute. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. He looks worried a little bit. Well, 
He Would is quite elongated. <laughs> He's quite stretched out. I'm super long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can see that. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of cute. All right, that's he's fun. Very cute. Right. Maybe I'm just sad. I don't know if all my animals look sad. Well, the other one looked mean. Oh, okay. The, the yeah. groundhog looked like he was going to... It was just kind of like a little bit like, what? What? No. Get. <laughs> no. I'm going to give it a little more... How's she going down here? How's she going? How's she been? What's... Yeah. That's it. That's the pickle um, right there, yeah. Who's your pick to win the cup this year now that we're in second round? Ooh. Almost in second round. Who do I want or who do I think? Who do you... Th well, let's go with both, but first let's go with who you think. Carolina. Really? Okay, interesting. Yeah. And who do you want? Edmonton. Yeah. But you wonder what? I also think that it could be someone like Dallas or Seattle. That's just because I've not been paying attention. I haven't watched any of those series, so I don't know how they're playing. No, um, they might be amazing. I really don't know. Yeah. I want the Leafs to win, and they're not going to. It's sad. Uh, I, I've not given up on them. I haven't given up on them, but man, they need but, to. Man. They just need to be better. Mm, fair. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Much better. Well, I don't know. What are you feeling? Uh, I'm open, Doug. I am here for you. Friends. All right. Well, I think I'm okay to um, call it a week. Um, my back's a little tender, if I'm being honest. So. Okay. Well, you did have that fight with that groundhog, so. <laughs> right. Can we have one more look at the groundhog, and then we'll. Yeah. We'll call it a we'll call it a stream, and and we'll hope to see you guys next week as well. 18th. I can do math. It's the 18th of May. Sorry. Oh, look at him. <laughs> you know, I'm close up, he looks a little job. friendlier. Okay. There we go. Focus. I, lo I love the... the... And then the doggo. The old, long, old long puppers. Old long puppers. He looks old because he's got that what one white eyebrow. <laughs> he looks so worried. It's okay, bud. <laughs> we'll be back next week. <laughs> well, thank you so much for hanging out, everybody. Really yes, thanks for hanging out. out. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next week. <laughs> Survivor duck. <laughs> <laughs> that's good awesome yeah thanks so much and thank you shane for hosting and uh yeah we'll we'll catch up uh in seven days time okay take care everyone bye yes have a great weekend bye bye